All right. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Your boy David Exclusive back at it with another Bleach vs. Souls video. And as you guys can see on the screen right now, we will be getting the Redux, Redux, whatever you want to call them, summons Knight of Wine Root. I don't know how to pronounce it decently. And as you guys have probably noticed, we're only getting two characters. Not three, but just two. Two new characters. But then again, guys, there's a Twitter about this. So as you guys can see, plus it's only a 4% chance to get a 5 star as well, guys. <laughs> Disappointing? I don't know. We'll break this down real quickly. I don't want to know y'all opinions on this too. So I'm happy though, guys, that we're getting new canon premium characters, which is nice, which is good. But once again, I'm kind of disappointed because we're only getting two new units. But then again, it's basically not two. But yeah, let's get into this. So as you guys can see, Gin and Izru, which is basically seen as one character, but they're basically two. And this is not with the switch mechanic like we know with Kiona and Santaro, with Yin and Yang. It's something completely different, guys. And this is what makes this character unique. And we will be getting a new 5-star canon Toshiro. So it, I'm really happy that we're, that we're getting canon characters. Canon characters are characters from the anime, from the story, original characters. As you guys can see, this summons features new versions of characters involved in the climatic final battles of the Soul Society story arc. And these new summons will feature the following two new 5-star characters, Gin and Izuru, Penitence and Tricky combined. So it's it. It's and Toshiro Itsugai and a Cold Fury. So these two, these new characters will appear in three different summons. Three different, yeah, okay. Three different term, three different summons. Holy shit! So the complete banner with both characters in it and the two individuals. So okay. So let's get into the stat and skills, which I personally haven't checked it out yet. Um, so okay let's read this Gin and Izu so they are both melee strong attack characters with the soul weeper and hollow killer abilities okay so here here's what makes things interesting guys Gin and Izu are an all new kind of character called a double team character guys so it's a double team character so basically you're getting two characters in one character with the exact amount of special moves and strong attacks. It's not that the third strong attack is the switch mechanic. No, this is not the case. There's actually a different mechanic to switch between characters, which which makes things really interesting. So during a quest, you can switch between controlling either Gin or Izuru. Whichever character you choose to control, the other character will remain on the screen and will fight independently, guys. This is... Is this meta changing when it comes to PvE content? It's, it's interesting. It's, it's, uh... All of Gin's attacks have a chance to inflict poison, which is great. While Izuru's normal attacks have a chance to inflict a lacerate, and his strong attacks and special move have a chance to inflict poison. Now, this character is looking pretty, pretty OP. Their unlockable skills also include Frenzy, a two second debilitator, and Guard Break as well. Okay, this is getting really interesting. Okay, let's continue. Please be aware that only soul traits, abilities, and accessories which affect non controlled character stats will be active in battle. What? Please be aware that only soul traits, abilities, and accessories which affect the non-controlled character stats. I don't, I don't understand this completely, but oh well. Next up, Toshiro Hitsugaya and the Cold Fury. Toshiro is a ranged strong attack character with a no affiliation killer ability. Okay, all of his attacks have a chance to inflict freeze, which combines excellently with his freeze and five second debilitator skills, uh, frenzy and five second. Okay, so ranged. Strong attack, frenzy, no affiliation, killer with 5 second debilitator. That's cool. He also comes armed with the second strong attack that gathers enemies together, so like a vacuum attack, further increasing his chance of inflicting freeze. Understandable. Finally, is able to unlock fire immunity, okay, making him very useful on quests with a lot of burn, introducing enemies or hazards. Okay, this is actually pretty looking pretty good. Um, epic rate, blah blah blah. So, double team characters, guys. During a quest, you can switch between which character you wish to control. The character not currently under your control will remain on screen and attack independently with normal attacks. 
Okay. <laughs> when you use a strong attack with the character you are controlling, the second character will interrupt whatever they are doing and attack along with the character you are controlling. Yo! This is interesting. Okay, so we can check the C here for more details, which we'll get into the into uh, in a few moments. So double, uh, not the double chance. It's only a four percent banner, guys. I'm I got my downs on this. So uh, Gin and Isru Redux Redux version, whatever you want to call it, an immense high amount of seven hundred ninety-eight SP plus. Soul Reaper and Hollow Killer, guys. That's actually really good. A double killer, double character, 798 SP. Amazing. Okay. Blades of Allege Allegiance. Izuru blocks incoming attacks and then Gin attacks with Shinzo, causing immense damage and inflicting poison. Okay, I'm actually pretty curious about, about that special move. Strong attack recharge minus 12%. Nice. Long reach plus 20%. Bluezer plus 20%. Berserker plus 20%. Friendly devastation plus 40. Debilitator 2 seconds. Sprinter and guard break. Okay. Toshiro is the new blue, no affiliation killer, with 794 SP. Also very good. Toshiro uses a spiritual pressure to control a powerful ice dragon that can causes immense damage and inflicts freeze uh, swung attack recharge as well minus 12 percent bruiser berserker plus 20 percent frenzy Dev devastation plus 40 the Bellator, plus five second sprinter and fire duration minus 100 percent fill their characters their newer technique lisa we got the speed pass kiske we got Nelia once again which is uh, these are kind of repetitively repetitive fillers. Omaida, Mauricio, Ryuken, and tag team Koga. Okay. Um. Yeah. I don't know what to think about this banner, guys. I mean, the characters look pretty. I mean, this. I was kind of disappointed when it comes to this banner, guys, because at first I was like, "Yo, only two characters. What's this?" But after reading all this, this is actually it's it's fairly interesting to actually summon on. Will I? He is a no affiliation. What? I just noticed, guys. No affiliation. Affiliation? What? That ain't possible. They're soul weepers. What should. A lot. See? Toshiro is a soul weeper slash captain. Why in the world are they no affiliation? I mean, this doesn't make sense. Even if there are two different characters in one, they still should be soul weepers, right? <laughs> or is that just me? What is this? Um, yo, it's strange. Uh, let's see here for more details. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the... Yes, okay. This is what I wanted to get through as well. Double team characters, guys. So we're getting more explanations in there and this. With some screenshot as well. So during a quest, you can switch between which character you wish to control. As you guys can see, guys, here is the switch mechanic normally in the earlier uh, double team characters you could switch with the third strong attack for example with yin and yang or kione and santaro but over here you actually have a different switch mechanic guys and this is actually fairly interesting because if they are gonna remake the tag team characters when it comes with the zanpak toes this is gonna be very interesting guys and i would love to actually see that happening and please your souls this is actually a great meta that they finally they should have done this earlier but then again this is once again more extra content more possible characters in the future with the switch switch mechanic definitely for the tag team characters guys i really hope that they are and i probably think that they're gonna remake the tag team characters with the zanpakuto and the soul weepers because this is a this is a, yeah i mean this is interesting it, it has my attention, but if I'm gonna summon on this... Also guys, if you guys hear my dogs barking, my apologies. They got a lot of energy today. Uh, <laughs> so as you guys can see on the first screenshot, we see Geem. And as you guys can see, he has three normal attacks, and, uh, three strong attacks and his normal attacks. But if you switch to Izu as well, he has three strong attacks as well and his normal attacks too. So basically we're getting two characters in one with the switch mechanic and both characters probably have different strong attack animations as well. Which in my opinion, this could give Bleach Brave Souls a complete twist when it comes to enjoying gameplay guys because you can actually switch between characters which is in my opinion is really fun but the question i have as well if one character dies does the other one die too i guess so but maybe if one character dies the other one will survive i don't know so 
Uh, the character not currently under your control will remain on the screen and attack independently with normal attacks, guys. So basically, you're getting the double amount of attacks as well because you basically have two characters fighting at once, which would make completing content easier and possibly go faster as well. I don't know. It, it seems it's a really interesting concept, guys, for real. When you use a strong attack uh, with the character you are controlling, the second character will interrupt whatever they're doing and attack along with the character you are controlling. Controlling. We are also adding a double team character display option. If you turn this option to on, other player double team characters will be displayed. Oh, this, is this when it comes to co-op? I don't know. This option is set to off by default, so if you want to see other players double team characters, please change it to set. Okay, it's, uh, okay, this is probably for co-op. Looks interesting, guys. Can I scroll down? Yeah. Notes. Only the character you are controlling will take damage. Okay, but does this mean the other character will survive or not? Only soul traits, abilities and accessories which affect the non-controlled character stats will be active in battle. I don't understand this guys. Only soul traits, abilities and accessories which affect the non-controlled character stats will be active in battle. I don't understand this, but oh well. Uh, if you guys can explain this to me, that would be appreciated. The normal attack damage dealt by the character not being controlled will be less than when they are under the player's control. Understandable. When the stamina of the character being controlled reach zero, the character not being controlled will retreat from battle and no longer be displayed. Okay, so my question got answered right here. Characters will not switch automatically when in auto mode. Understandable. You cannot change characters while afflicted when with a status element. Okay, understandable as well. Plant improvements to double team characters. The double team character Gin and Izuru should be treated as two separate characters, Gin Ichimaru and Kira Izuru, but is currently only treated as Kira Izuru. A future update will adjust this to ensure they are treated as two characters. Okay, I, I'm guessing they're still work in progress, but I, I really like this concept, guys. Since this double team character is both Gin and Izuru, Bonus triggered by having a team of compromised characters with the same name will not activate. I don't know what that means. Furthermore, the mechanics of Gin and Izuru's Ascension and the activation of the Soul Reaper and Squad 3 team effects will be revised. Adjustment details. Ascension, when Izuru is selected as a source character, there's an, an increase in the EXP game. Okay! So, if you're playing with Izuru, you're getting more XP, if I'm correct. If I'm, if, if that's correct, right? If I got it correctly, I don't know. Uh, solely per team effect, effect triggers if the team also contains Gein and one other character with the Soul Reaper team effect. Okay. Squad 3 team effect, effect triggers when uh, the only other character in team with Squad 3. Yeah, okay. Post the judgment uh, character with P. When Ezra or Gein is like those source characters in the XP effect is not triggered. I don't understand this at all, guys. I don't know why post adjustment, pre adjustment. I don't, un I don't see any difference in here. Oh well, um, if you guys could give me some more info on this, that would be nice, and some more info on the on those accessories, what they mean. Only soul trace abilities and accessories which affect the non-controlled character stats will be active in battle. I don't understand this at all. But oh well guys, um, we're getting s uh, an something completely new in Bleed Rare Souls, which is actually really interesting in my opinion. It's fun to see that they're actually revamping the tag team characters with an actual switch mechanic, which is not a strong attack attack, guys. I'm really happy to finally see that, and I cannot wait until they're actually gonna remake the tag team characters when it comes to the Soul Weepers and the Zampatos. That would be dope AF with this switch mechanic, guys. I can't wait until this that until that's gonna happen. But uh, I'm gonna close the video here, guys. That First, I was like a bit disappointed about this banner with like um, only two characters. But then again, guys, I can understand why K-Lab is only adding two characters because I mean, you're basically still getting three characters, but just uh, a character in one, uh, two characters in one. Then again, it's all also less orbs to gain, guys, because this actually counts as just one character. So you only will get one character to get or resources from but then again he looks really good soul weeper and hollow killer guys on the tag team uh Gin and izuru soul weeper and hollow killer no affiliation which in my opinion is kind of strange the toshiro looks really good as well so 
I don't know what to do guys, then again this is only 4% chance to get a 5 star, I might just do one multi and that's it as the first multi is discounted, but uh, I want to know all of your opinions on this guys, but because this is something completely new which is coming to the game and I'm really curious what y'all opinions are on this guys. I mean in my opinion this is a great update to see, because in my opinion this is how the tag team characters should have always been with the switch mechanic and the strong attacks and not the switch mechanic in the strong attack so this is actually looking really good in my opinion will i be summoning on this maybe just one multi that's it because it's only a four percent chance guys to get a five star the fillers that are in here i already got all of them so i'm i don't know i might skip this guys i'm i'm really curious when it comes to the gameplay which will probably be released very soon but uh, yeah guys uh, i'm gonna close the video here please leave a like down below guys if you guys enjoyed this breakdown video of your boy david exclusive reviewing this i'm actually really curious what they're gonna do so uh, let me know in the comments down below as well guys what are your thoughts on this any Thing. I want to know everything what's going into your mind guys about this banner about these characters that are coming up So please do let me know in the comments down below if you're new Don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below as well with the notification bell to actually see every video upload and every live stream that we will be doing I got something huge coming up guys I put a lot of work into this which will be uploaded fairly soon I'm not gonna spoil that much about it but I've put a lot of work into that and it's coming very soon so make sure to hit the subscribe button down below down below as well to see more bleach results related contents so yeah want to know all of your opinions on this guys so please let me know in the comments and uh, yeah your boy David exclusive signing out on to the next one peace guys later